Hi, I'm Derek Pitts, Chief Astronomer at the Franklin Institute. During the first six weeks of 2025, there are bright planets visible in the evening sky, four in the evening and one in the pre-dawn sky just before sunrise. You can start with the evening sky, the planet Venus is brilliant over in the low western portion of the sky just after sunset, and right next to brilliant Venus will be the ring planet of our solar system, Saturn. Up a little bit higher in the sky will be the largest planet of our solar system, Jupiter, again easily visible, and a little bit later in the evening, over toward the eastern side of the sky, will be the rosy-colored planet Mars. All of these are easily visible without binoculars, without a telescope. Just make sure you do your evening observing between sunset and 8 p.m., which is about the time that Venus and Saturn are going to set on the western horizon. We're able to see all of these planets in the evening sky because of their orbital motion around the sun. The only one we can't see in the evening sky is Mercury. That one is visible all the way around in the pre-dawn sky, rising just a few minutes before the sun. You may hear the term alignment used for this gathering of planets in the sky, but for all intents and purposes, the planets are almost always aligned because they orbit on the same plane around the sun all the time. What's really more important is how close planets are to each other. In this case, it's Venus and Saturn that are close to each other, and that's worth seeing in the evening sky. To make it even easier to locate these planets, you can use the thin crescent moon to help you out. On January 31st, that thin crescent moon will be right next to Saturn. The next night, February 1st, it'll be right next to Venus. On February 6th, that crescent moon will be right next to Jupiter. And on February 9th, that moon will be right next to Mars. Happy viewing!